This is Amir Yomi Gemara in Shabbos. Daf. Ayin Ches, Amir Aleph, we're holding in the very bottom of Ayin Zayin, Amir Bez, Shemen. Eight lines from the bottom. Kedi Losoch, Eiver, Katon. And today's learning should bring, should be an incredible schoser for Shlema, for Miriam Ahuva, Bas Esther, and Tino Ben Miriam Ahuva, the schoser Tvila, the schoser Taira. Talmud Torah, B'Rabim, those no bounds, and Baruch Hashem, we're already seeing Nisim, ready witnessing how Tfilah, Taira, could shake the heavens. Siyat de Shemaya, the continued Tzchos of Taira, should bring Miriam Ahuva Bas Esther, and Tina Ben Miriam Ahuva, a complete Rafua Shalema Bekarif. Says the Gemara, quoting the Mishnah, how much oil is one Chayif for, for carrying on Shabbos, to anoint, to put the oil on a small limb of the body. Amri Devei Ravyani. This statement of Ravyani is going to be the focus of the first whole chunk of today's Amid. Teaches Ravyani. Shemek Dei Losoch Ever Katan, Shel Katan Ben Yaimai. Says Ravyani, it doesn't only mean the limb, or the small limb of a body. It's a small limb of a body of a one-day-old infant. Meisvei asks the Gemara, says the Brisa Shem, and if one takes that oil on Shabbos, again, we're talking about carrying it, it's a rabbin, at, one, at what quantity? It creates a chiyov. Shem, t'ilos ha'chever katan, v'katan ben yaymai, he's chayv, if he takes enough oil to put it on a small limb, v'katan ben yaymai, and there has to be enough oil to anoint a one-day-old infant. My love, what does this Bryce seemingly imply? Aver cut on dig goddle. It means the small limb of an adult. Or the aver cut and shall cut many I might. Or a large limb of a day-old infant. From the Bryce adding in the words, Aver cut on. And cut on many I might. It would seem to imply there's two different qualifications potentially possible to create a chiyuv. <clears throat> that either it's the aver katan of a gadol, a small limb of a gadol, or it's a large limb of a katan ben yaymai. Clearly not like Raviani. Now, of course, the differences over here, similar to what we saw yesterday, are in the decimal points. But that's the difference that, that will be the difference between the Dereisa and that. Responds the Gemara Amri Lach Rav Yanai. The Tamidim of Rav Yanai responded, Loi, Hachi Kamar. The way to read the Braises as follows Shemen, Kteilos Ever Katan, Shel Katan Ben Yaimai. And of course, the debate over here really centers around something which we have often, which is how do we deal with. With a vav, a vav could be and, a vav could be or, a vav could connect the two. So the Brisa just brought in the words of a katan ben yaimai, and that's creating this struggle as to whether it is the same explaining the ever katan of the katan ben yaimai or two different entities. So we answered for Rev Yanai. Says the Gemara Lema Kitanai. Let's say that this detail that we're discussing is a machloik is tanayim. Says the rice of Shemen, the Elos Chaver Katan, Ve Katan Ben Yaimai. Says the exact same words, Divri of Shemen Elazar. But Rav Nasan Aimer, he explains, Kide Elos Chaver Katan. Straight, and he leaves out the words of Katan Ben Yaimai. So says the Gemara, what are these tanayim arguing about? My love, that what's the machloik? Yes, v'hakam ifliki. To v'shim in Elazar savar aver katan shel katan. There v'shim in Elazar. The first sheet that he added in aver katan many yaimai. He seemingly says like Rav Yanai that what aver katan shel katan. But Rav Nasan seemingly argues because what did he say? Aver katan dig gadol. Oi, Ever Kadal de Katan. Aval, Ever Katan shall Katan ben Yemai Lai. Excuse me, I said it wrong. Let's go back for a moment. I apologize. 
that what's the machlaik is my love. The first opinion holds just Aver Katan Shal Katan. And Rav Nasa says Aver Katan of a Gadol or an Aver Gadol of a Katan. But Aver Katan of a Katan Ben Yaima, that extra added detail, seemingly no one holds like. So says the Gemara. Um, no, uh, one more time. One more time. Apologize. I had it right the first time. One more time. My love, welcome if. Shimon and Elazar of our Ever Katan Shell Katan. I was right, yes. Shimon and Elazar is like Rav Yanai. Whereas Rav Nassan argues. So says the Gemara, seemingly to Machlegis Tanayim and Rav Yanai, all take of Shimon and Elazar. Answers the Gemara in the bottom of Vayim Zayim and Beis, Eloi. Tikuli Alma, Ever Katan de Katan ben Yim Eloi. We can explain that no one is going with the opinion of Rav Yanai as we turn over to Echazim and Al. Velasa de Rav Yanai. So what's the machlek is in his brace of a hacha? Baka mifki. Shemin Allah says, Savar ever cut and the god of ever god of the cut and many I may. Kiadadi ninhu. And the machlek is in that brace is, Shemin Allah says, that ever cut and of a god or an ever god of a cut and many are all the same. And therefore, it's going to be the same amount, but not. But he's not saying any of a cotton of a cotton in Yemen. Both of those details, either either godol of a cotton or either cotton of a godol. Rav Nasan Savar either cotton the godol in only the small limb of a godol, but not either godol cotton in Yemen. So says the Gemara. It's not a machleik. It's an ayim, and we can explain how no one is going like Rav Yanai. Says the Gemara, okay, so my Havi Allah, we're going back and forth and forth and back. So what's La Maisa? The Maskana. Explains the Gemara, Tashima, the Tanya, Shemin Allah, the Oimer, Shemin, the Allah, the Haver Kata, Shokata, Men Yaim, Hoi. So the Brysa says explicitly, an Aver Kata of. A Kata, Ben Yaim, Hoi. The Shemin Allah is going to go like Rav Yanai. Like the first we explained, they were concluding that La Maisa. Continues the Gemara. Continues the Gemara. Water. We said in the Mishnah, how much water do you take out the Yerchayiv? The amount to mix and create this eye ointment. Amar Abaye, eight lines down, first word line is Hakilar. Ayin Chazam and Aleph says Abaye Mechdi. So Rabbi says a statement, and then the Gemara doesn't explain what this statement means. Something that is common and not common, then this common and common. So we have to explain what does this mean. There's obviously, and this is really going to bring out the detail, like when we learned in the Mishnah, we wonder that water, for example, has many usages. And yet in the Mishnah, we're seemingly being very machmir, being machayiv, someone on this little bit of water to make this plaster. So explains the Gemara. When it comes to yayin, wine, what do you do with wine? You drink it. Using it as your food for medicinal purposes is not so common. Therefore, as the Rabbana we go, but we go after the common usage for lenient purposes, meaning it's a larger quantity. Again, it's a dark counter counterintuitive. We have to hone in that if it's a larger quantity, that's a kula. Because we're talking about carrying it on Shabbos, so you're only going to be chayiv if you carry that larger quantity. So since wine is usually drank, so you're only going to be chayiv if you carry on Shabbos a larger quantity of wine. Chal of milk in the same vein. It's common to eat and not to use it for a fua. Therefore, the kula. Devash. Now devash is different. And refua say shchicha. So what did Abayi say? Then the din is then we're machmir. So therefore, the Rabbanu Basar refusal the chumra, and that's the reason why honey devash rachayev on a smaller quantity. But now, after explaining yayin devash and chalav, asks the Gemara elamayim mechdi shtiyasa shchicha refusal shchicha. Bringing out the kasha, what do we do with water? Normally we drink it and don't use it for a fuah. So what's the reason? 
My time was Rabbi was your Rasa Chomra. Why are we being machmer on water and saying you're chayiv even for bringing out the smallest of quantities? Amar Abaye, Beglila Shanu. The Mishnah was taught in Glila, where they use water commonly for Rafua. That's the reason why we're machmir. Teretz number one. Teretz number two. Rav Amar, if you look at me, Bashar Mekaymais. Kim said, Mishnah's talking about other places as well. That what? Because water is commonly used. Why? Masu, liquids, when they mix into eye plasters, eye ointments, cure. But umitalili, but they cover the eye. They're too thick, most liquids. But says Shmuel, Levar mi maya, te masu, veloi mitalili. That water is special when it comes to a fool, that because it's thin, therefore it has the ability to aid in the refua more, and therefore says the Gemara, everyone could agree that water is commonly used for refua. Continues the Gemara, Shar Kol HaMashkim Raviyas, about 15 lines of the wide lines, two dots, Shar Kol HaMashkim Raviyas, says the Gemara, Tan Rabba, Anan, Dam, Blood, V'chom Yini HaMashkim Raviyas, V'shem Yini Lazar, Aymer, Dam, K'di Lechol, B'ayin Achas, No, Blood is enough to apply to one eye, why? Because what do you do with blood? Says that if someone has a speck from the eye, they put blood on it. What does that mean? I knew what type of blood is this? The blood of a wild hen. Because we apply blood for a cataract. Do I knew what type of blood? The blood of a mole. The inner one for the inner one, the outer one for the outer one. Again, a classical example of the Gemara that simanim are so critically important to remember which sheet is which. Whenever we see these, we make mention of the incredible Zichru program, the Zichru Simanim. We hope very shortly to be starting a Zichru Shir in conjunction, hopefully, with Amid Yaimi, the Daf Yaimi. Incredible. Please check it out. It will certainly check your, change your life. Says the Gemara of Medvar Mamurim, what are we talking about? Bemaitzi, when you carry out these items in Shabbos. But the Gemara now says a cryptic statement. Avil bimatsnia, if you hide these items, if you store them away, call Shuchai, if you're hiding for a dot. When you hide them, Avil bimaitzi, if you take them out, in Chai Vel Bravis. And why do Chachamim, Lerav Shimin, bimaitzi, is Shuch, and Rishasar Abim. So with this we conclude that says the Gemara Amar Amar. Let's understand the end of that Braisa that we just said with three lines from the wide lines. Amar Amar. B'med varma murim b'moitzi. When you take out the item of a matzniyah, but when you store it, you're chayi for a kolshu. Says the Gemara, ot matzniyah la moitzi. What's going on over here? If you store it, are you not the one that carries it out? Of course, if you don't carry out the item, you're not chayi. So what does it mean that for storing it, you're creating a chiyov? Amar Abaye, no, this is what's going on. Ach, ma'eskinan. B'talmud, shavar le'er rabbi. A Talmud that his rabbi says to him, Lechob bana limakam l'suda. Go clear out a place for me so I can eat a meal. Halach upin Allah, he went and clears it out. Tavar chashel ha'kol. If he takes out an item that everyone holds, it's chashel chayel u'yei. He's chayev. It doesn't make a difference if the master stores that item or not. Lamaisi he carries out something that most people consider chashiv. He's chayiv. Tavrashein a chashiv I call then. Iatzni a rabbi then. Mechayiv aliyeh. For the fact that the master stores it creates a chashiv in the eyes of the master, then the Talmud will be chayiv for carrying it out. V'iloi loi mechayiv. Amar mar madulchan the Rav Shimi b'Mosi Shayiv l'Shus Ram Shem b'Ravi. It says the Gemara Shayiv l'May Chazu. What do we use? Shayvchein wastewater for Amar Avir merely gavin as a tit. We need clay with it. Ask Gemara what take of a tanya take the last one be core that if you carry out tit on Shabbos, how much tit are you do you carry your chayiv the amount to form the opening of a core of a crucible which is a small quantity. So if to be chayiv for carrying out tit, you're chayiv for the small quantity. So why by the water is it going to be a large quantity of a ravius? Says the Gemara like Kasha. The second price is Hadam Igbal. If you already needed the clay, then you're high if you're thinking of a small quantity. Hadam Igbal, but if you didn't need it yet, 
then you're only chayv if you take it to Ravius. Why? You're not going to start a whole kneading process to create it unless you have a larger quantity, and that's the reason why it'll only be if you have a Ravius. We'll pick it up from the Mishnah of Siyata Dishmaya.